Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, and I got a quick rant for you today. Before we jump in, we have crossed over 4,500 subscribers, so thank you so very much for your continued support of our channel. Let's just jump right in. Jump right in on this one. Get rid of Nalissa Smith right now. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait till the offseason. Get rid of her now. Get rid of her. She is a negative to your team. The Indiana Fever should cut Nalissa Smith right now. Indiana Fever are in the playoffs. They are the sixth seed, no matter what happens in their season finale versus Washington. They win 110-109 against Dallas in a track meet. Caitlin Clark goes with 35. Chelsea Mitchell has 30. Nalissa Smith, after the game, tweets, it was fun while it lasted, babe, with laughing faces. And guess who responded? Dejanay Carrington. See what happens when my girl gets some touches. They are referring to the beginning of the game where she hit a couple buckets. And lo and behold, let's take a look at what the score was at the time that she hit a couple of buckets. That's right. It was 34-26 Dallas. Melissa Smith played 19 minutes. She was a minus nine. She finished with 8.6 rebounds on four of seven shooting. At the same time, Damaris Dantis had six points, three rebounds, was a plus nine, was two of two from three. Temi Fak Benley had seven points, three rebounds, in 18 minutes, and she was a plus 10. Erica Wheeler had three points. She In 14 minutes, she was a plus 9. Even Katie Lou Samuelson, who had zero points, was a plus 4 in 11 minutes of action. <clears throat> you don't believe me? This is the sh- This is the tweet, the X, whatever you call that shit now. Share it away. Do, do, do. See there for you. Right in your face. You cannot make this shit up. Oh, she deleted it. She deleted it. Now you see why this has not worked. Now you see why there have been problems with this team all year. The problems exist because there's inner conflict within this team. You have selfish players who don't know that they have a role. There's a reason there's something called a role player. Melissa Smith thinks she's a star. She's a role player. Let's take a look at that first. She makes a layup. 2-0. She misses. Oh, no, that's not her. Uh, She makes another layup. It's 8-6. She makes another layup. It's 16-10. Oh, they're losing. They're down 16-10. So she had six points in the first quarter. Uh... <clears throat> this is the first quarter. So I guess this is what DJ Carrington is talking about when she says, see what happens when my girl gets some touches. Here's the problem. Who was Melissa Smith guarding? She was guarding Natasha Howard. 921, Natasha Howard, offensive rebound. Why didn't Melissa Smith box her out? Natasha Howard layup, 2-2. Two, two. Natasha Howard misses layup. Natasha Howard grabs your offensive rebound. Natasha Howard misses her another shot. Natasha Howard grabs another rebound. 
or their team did. So where is Nalissa Smith? Um, let's see right here. Natasha Howard misses a 13-footer. Tierra McCowan grabs the offensive board. Rebound. Layup. Let's see. Natasha Howard, defensive rebound. Natasha Howard, offensive rebound. Natasha Howard makes seven foot two point shot. Natasha Howard makes a free throw on a shooting foul by Nalissa Smith. They take Nalissa Smith out of the game. Let's put it this way. Natasha Howard was all over this score box. Let's see the next quarter when Nalissa Smith re-enters the game. I just want you to see how bad Nalissa Smith actually is. So when she's sitting here complaining she enters the game at 646. The Dallas Wings are up 40-37. Natasha Howard, two-point shot at 624. So she immediately scores on her. Um, Melissa Smith gets a rebound. Melissa Smith gets her shot blocked. Melissa Smith gets a rebound. Natasha Howard, layup. Guess who's supposed to be good? Natasha Howard misses a shot. She grabs her own board. Where was Nalissa Smith again? Two more free throws. Nalissa Smith gets her last bucket where she hits a tip shot after an offensive board. Natasha Howard, pull-up jumper. Again, where are you, Nalissa? Just because you score eight doesn't mean you can give up 26. Like This is what we're talking about when we talk about stuff that impacts the game. You have a player who gets absolutely cooked. She gets cooked. So you you might score, you might make a few shots early on, and then defensively you're a disaster. Natasha Howard, offensive board. Natasha Howard, three point shot. Like this is what's going on. Natasha Howard is everywhere on this court for them, and the person guarding her, Natasha Howard, again foul on Alyssa Smith. I mean, I'm trying not to pick on somebody, but I'm being honest. This is reality. And Melissa Smith basically didn't play in the fourth quarter. Natasha Howard finishes with 26 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, and 7 offensive boards. 10 of 20 from the field, 6 of 6 from the line. Melissa Smith, what the fuck are you talking about? Dijanae Carrington, what the fuck are you talking about? The Indiana Fever need to rid themselves of this cancer right now, and I'm going to tell you why. They're going to play Connecticut in the first round, and Melissa Smith is going to tank this series on purpose. She's going to tank this on purpose. She's going to play purposely bad. She's going to freaking – she's going to – she's basically going to be going to be a plant for Connecticut. You cannot play her. You damn sure cannot start her, but you shouldn't even play her. This is where I'm sacrificing – I'm not even sacrificing because I think she's going to tank this series. She's going to she's going to play like shit on purpose because she knows that at the end of the year she's not going to be on this team anymore. She can't be. She cannot be. I don't care who is running the team. I don't care if Lynn Dunn's still the GM. I don't care if if if, if Christy Sides is still the coach. She cannot be on this team next year. In fact, I would rid her. I would get rid of her right now. She would not be in a jersey for Indiana again. I would make her a. I would make her a. Coach's decision, DMP, away from the team. I wouldn't even want her in my building. The fact that she's so tone deaf that she would tweet this after they won the game to guarantee that they're going to be at least a 500 team after starting off 1-8, and eight, after this team was 13-27 and 27 last year, after this team did not have a winning record in eight years. She's so tone deaf, and yet her girlfriend replies, who's on a competing team, and then you delete the tweet. You cannot make this up. And you want to know why Caitlin Clark was having a lot of problems early on this year? And even now, you have players like Melissa Smith who are there and want her to fail. If she's not part of the action, if she's not part of the solution, she wants her team to fail. She is that type of player. She doesn't understand that she is a role player and she fails 
at playing her role. She can't box out guards. She can't grab rebounds most of the time. They fall out of her hands. I mean, if she grabs six rebounds, she probably should have had 12. That's who she is. <clears throat> She's that type that if she, she, she grabs six, she probably should have had 12. But, yeah, I'm, I'm done. Melissa Smith, bye-bye. Get rid of her. She better not be in a uniform. And if she's in a uniform on Thursday, and if she's in a uniform against Connecticut, even on the bench, if she's anywhere near that team, I have fear that they're going to lose because she's going to tank the series. Not because Connecticut's better, but they'll lose because she purposely tanks the series. I mean, you saw how she played against DeJanae Carrington last time. She's fouling her 5'11 girlfriend, who, and she's six foot four. On a, on a turnaround jump shot. Like, DJ Carrington, Carrington should never get that shot over Nelissa Smith. Nelissa Smith has athletic ability and size that she does not know how to use. Or she chooses not to use it. She has no left hand. She's defensively inept. And this is what you got, a complainer. She should not start. She should not play. She should not be on this team anymore. Get rid of her before she fucks up your playoff run. That's all I got. Leave your thoughts and comments and, and ring that bell. Make sure you hit the bell and subscribe so you get all the updates, okay? Do that for me. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Come on now.